Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Kadi. The channel that you're watching me at is Health Journey with Kadi. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe at the end, or you could do that now while you're watching the video. Um, in this channel, we go over all things dealing with health. So that could be mental, physical, and emotional as well. Um, I also have a 30 day workout videos, 30 day worth of workout videos below. So if you want to watch those videos, you can. Um, they're also on my channel. Um, a new program that I am going to be starting today. Um, however, you guys will see the video. It will be on my vlog channel. I'll show a little clip of it. Um, I am going to be doing 35 days. The 35 day program, um, Chloe Ting's 35 day program. So I'm going to be doing that. I'll show a little bit of it in my vlog channel. So go ahead over there and check it out. Um, so let me just stop rambling. Today's main topic is stress. Um, moving forward on Mondays, I'm trying to do mindful Mondays and then Wednesdays on this channel I want to do wellness Wednesday that could include a range of different things but I just want to use the letters of the days um, incorporated into the title and then Fridays will be fitness Fridays that's when you would likely see me working out anything dealing with fitness by itself so as I said earlier today's topic is stress I know a lot of us are going through stressful moments. A lot of us are dealing with stress in different ways. Um, I do believe there are good ways to deal with stress that are positive and in negative ways um, or bad ways, if you want to say, of dealing with stress. So I have my laptop in front of me. Um, again, stress is not just for the young, the old, um, anyone can feel stressed. So if someone tells you because you're young that, um, one thing that I used to hear a lot being young was, what do you have to be stressful about? Like, um, you're still young, you should live life. Um, you don't have much to worry about. What should you be stressful about? I do want to say this if you are young watching my video or if you're an adult, stress does not have, um, does not discriminate when it comes to age. Um, so anyone can feel stress, just to let you know. So um, let me log in. So stress is for everyone. So adult, teens, and even um, children can experience stress. Stress is considered a reaction to a situation that makes you feel threatened or anxious. So you can react in any way. Remember, um, just to say, if you are anxious, it could be for a good reason or for a bad reason. It depends on how you react. Because um, being anxious can help too much being too anxious can lead to anxiety. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying what I've learned as well um, and what I've experienced. So that is a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. Um, if you do want to get further help, do contact your therapist or your doctor um, to get more information into this. So. Due to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the definition of stress, stress is the definition of stress that they put on your website is stress is a reaction to a situation where a person feels threatened or anxious. Stress can be positive or negative. So an example of positive stress is if you're planning a wedding, you're planning a party, um, so something that leads to a positive outcome. Um, a situation of stress that is negative, as many of us are dealing with, is when it comes to a pandemic or na national, natural, natural disasters. 
two different types. So it's not natural for, um, it's not national, it's natural disaster. It's not national. So natural disaster like tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes, things like that, things that affect our physical um, exterior. So that could be part of stress as well. So stress can be an outcome of traumatic events as well. Um, for those of you that might have dealt with something that you consider to cause you trauma, when it's not dealt with, it could be a long stress as well. Um, so for example, threats with assault, um, environmental disasters, that could just be your environment within the home, that can cause stress as well. So these are the common reactions that they say. And I also will add more to it um, from this website. So disbelief. In often cases, we're able to admit to ourselves that we are feeling stressful, but when somebody else asks us or they sense that we're being stressful, we tend not to admit it. So you're still in a form of disbelief because you're not able to admit to others whatever emotion you're going through. Um, sometimes during stress as well, a lot of us might become numb. So if you're used to dealing with a certain negative stressor, you might become numb to that situation. However, you're not dealing with the issue in itself. Um, for concentration, you might have difficulty concentrating or focusing on one thing at a time. Um, so that could be a reaction to stress. It could be a reaction to anything, but that can also be a reaction to stress. Feeling sad, frustrated, and helpless. So I wanna stop there because I feel like that is one thing that we all, majority of us that go through stressful situations feel. When you are stressed about, let's say, employment, there might be moments when you do feel sad because you know what having a, a form of income or a level of increase or whatsoever in your income might do for you or your family. So you might feel sad because you're not able to do certain things. What I do want to say is to combat that, instead of feeling sad, you can try, try to be a little bit hopeful and more so retroactive. So try to look for more jobs instead of just sitting and mellowing in sadness, try to look for more jobs. That could be an option too. Um, stress can also lead to frustration. So again, if you're not having a job, for example, you might get frustrated because you know what that money would do for you. However, you should take actions that keep you busy so you're not dealing on the lack of, but what you are doing to, you know, give your um, give you an increase to get that job now. Feeling helpless is something that I know can lead into different um, can lead, can lead into more negative. So just feeling like you cannot do anything and that can bring your energy down and as well as lack of motivation right so you won't be motivated to do anything and that's also hard when you, you might have others around you that are trying to help you out but you feel helpless and you don't want to do anything at all so here are some other reactions that they stated on the website headaches back pain stomach stomach problems that was a shocker to me stomach problems and back aches but I do know that your body tries different ways to release stress, right? So if you have it within you and you're feeling stressful, your body's gonna figure out ways to release stress. So that might just be causing you pain in itself so you can pay attention to the issue 
and then deal with it instead of, you know, feeling helpless, ignoring it, just getting frustrated, but to deal with the stressor. So you might end up having back ache, you might end up having stomach problems, um, cramping, things like that, um, and also headaches. For me, I know when I'm going through stressful moments, I have two different ways of dealing with that. I get extra um, active or I get really tired and just let's say sleep. Okay, there's often cases when I, if I'm stressful or I'm feeling stressed, I just want to sleep so that I, I feel in my own way to recharge myself in a way. So I might just want to sleep but I know that can lead into helplessness or feeling stress, um, what do you call it? A little bit sadness, right? So I tend to take maybe a day or two to just spend quiet time to myself, sleep if possible, right? Apart from, you know, night sleep, but just take a nap here and there, especially when I know, okay, I'm feeling too stressed right now, like, nothing is in my control right so I try to just go to sleep and then when I wake up I tend to feel a little bit better um, the other reaction I have is go 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 work 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 um, and sometimes to me that is more positive because when my mind switches to just work 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 or do this or do that, I feel more as if it's positive. For example, when I'm in a stressful environment, especially during this pandemic situation, um, I started to just jot down cre creative things that have come into mind. Um, I started to focus more on things that I wanted to do for a long time. So I put time aside, make, make schedules. Um, also include my health, change my health pattern, my, you know, habits that are negative or, you know, things like that. So I started to do that instead. And creating a schedule keeps you busy. And yes, you might not be able to do all the things on your schedule, but at least one or two will be complete. So let's say you have a list of 10 things that you want to do. Do not focus on the number of how much you have to get done, but the quality of the time that you spent doing whatsoever you accomplished that day. So I did not know that stomach pain or stomach problem or back pain is part of stressor. I did know that your body will release stress in a different way. And I knew that because I would tend to want to sleep a lot. Um, so another reaction for some adults out there or a young adult is smoking, use of alcohol or drugs. Okay, so some people might um, start to smoke, drink, um, use any type of other drug to basically numb or ignore, let me not say ignore, to deal with the stressor. I would say do not overindulge in drugs, alcohol, um, or smoke, smoking or alcohol, use of alcohol or drugs, okay? I would say do not connect that to a way to deal with your stress because that would just lead to more and more and more. So instead of just smoking or drinking, if that's something you used to do before, you should not connect that now with the stressor. Because you're all, we are all gonna have, in different parts of our lives, di different stressors, and stress can come and go, so you don't want to just connect those two together. Um, in my opinion, I feel like that's not a good reaction to put both together, because that might mean drinking too much, and then your interactions with others will change. That might be smoking too much as well, and your interactions with others will change. Um, but if that's what you do to each his own, all I'm saying is I don't think overdoing that will be a good way to cope with stressor. Okay? So, ways to cope with stress. 
care of yourself. Okay, that might, to you, taking care of yourself might be for you to go to the spa and the spa is not open around your area. Um, do it at home if you have a partner. Um, maybe they can give you a massage. Maybe they can, um, or if you have kids, maybe they can um, help you out as well. You never know. Um, you guys, if you have kids, you might just want to do a yoga session together and just massage and think more about the mind and just be mindful in that moment and just breathe if it's possible. Kids tend to also enjoy it at the end because they have a moment of quiet where they can just process with their, um, their emotions as well. Um, so eating healthy, having a balanced meal will be good. Just remember, don't do it too much. So don't bench eat um, and also don't purge in a way. Make sure you have a healthy balance. Um, also exercise on a regular basis is an, another idea for you to deal with stress. Um, I do know that helps me out because you get to release a certain type of, um, I don't know if it's enzymes or endorphins. I forget which one of those, but you get to release uh, some type of energy from you whenever you work out. So exercise, it does not have to be really extreme. You could just take walks, um, you could do yoga, whatever it is. Um, you can lift weights as long as you're exercising. Get plenty of sleep, so do not deprive yourself of sleep because your body needs to recharge and sometimes doing sleep. Doing sleep is the best time for your body to recharge, so doing that. And also, um, if you feel stressed out, you just feel stressed out. So give yourself a break. Don't be too hard on yourself. Like, give yourself a break if you feel stressed out. Just say it. If you know it, you know it, right? And at least that's the first step. Um, talk to others. That really helps me out as well. So I talk to my friends, I talk to my family, because um, especially when you get to that point of helplessness, like talking to your friends and family, they will give you ideas, and also sometimes they would tell you more of the positive things you have going for you when you don't really see it, you know? So talking to others would be beneficial. On the other hand, you should not be talking to someone that's always bringing you down or being negative um, because now you're already stressful and they're going to add more to it or not even have anything to say. But you know the type of people you need to go to that are helpful, that are there for you and really care for you in that way. So go to those people when you are feeling stressed. And if you have a therapist, yeah, talk to your therapist that, because they will be doing their job, their profession, so it's a little bit different. If you can't talk to a therapist or, you know, for the therapist, I would say talk to those friends that are really, or family members that really, really care about you. Um, avoid drugs and alcohol. They also said, like I said earlier, you don't want that to be a coping me mechanism, right? Um, and then lastly, you can take a break, as I said earlier, and recognize that if you need help and the stress is becoming too much, contact someone. So today's topic is stress. And I hope you learn a little bit more about it. Um, some people just can't um, tend to be in stressful environments all the time. But I would say, there are positive and negative stressors, okay? So a positive stressor might be, remember I said earlier, planning for an event that you really um, are looking forward to, right? Um, events for yourself or your family or things like that, right? Negative stressors are things that are not even not in your control. So a disaster, a pandemic, um, something happening to you that you cannot control. So traumatic events are negative stressors. All I want to say is 
take time for yourself. That is really important when, you, when it comes to health journey. Take time to get to know yourself, right? So that might be a couple of minutes or an hour or two in within your day to just, just do it. Remember to just breathe, okay? Breathe. I'm always drinking water. You guys know I'm always promoting water. Right now, I'm drinking, um, I'm going to try to drink at least two of these, okay? Um, and then, I forgot how much this is, but. Yeah. Oh, this is one liter, it says. Yeah, I want to drink about two of these. It just spilled a little bit on me. And in here I have blue blueberry green tea. The the little thing in there. So I'm letting it just so drink water. Um take a walk. Meditate. Yoga. Exercise. Talk to your friends and family. And everything will be fine. Just remember that. If you truly believe that things will get better, it will get better. Um, today's shirt, by the way, I really like this shirt. Um, when I'm in the school, I try to wear certain things that have positive sayings on them. Um, so this shirt, it might be funny. It says, I don't know if you can see it. Let me take this off. Okay. Do, 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 do. They said, they said I can be anything, okay? The shirt said, they said I could be anything. And I want to talk about that a little bit. And then at the bottom it says, so I became a ninja. <laughs> so they said I could be anything, so I became a ninja. Um, it's important to say or give yourself positive affirmations. The words that come out your mouth are really powerful. What you speak about yourself or speak about others, it's really powerful. So be careful when you talk about yourself. If you cannot say anything nice about yourself or others, don't say anything at all. Don't say anything at all. If you do not feel positive, try thinking about the things that make you happy. Or try thinking about the things that you know that you're good at. I hope you guys enjoy this video on stress. Remember, Mondays are mindful Mondays, so we're well, gonna try and deal with the stuff in here, right? Um, that, that really affects us, right? What's in here, in our mind, in our brain, truly affects the rest of our day, our life, our body, our emotions, all of that, right? So, mindful Mondays. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for everything. And mainly just watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.